Hi, and welcome to Cyberary Live. Today's course is the Certified in Information Security Management, also known as the CISM Examination Prep. My name is Kelly Handerhan, and I will be your instructor. And just a little bit about me very briefly. Um, I own my own organization called Cyber, Cybertrain.it. Uh, you can reach me at Kelly H at Cybertrain.it, and you can uh, follow us on Facebook as well. I've been in the IT industry for going on about 20 years now. Um, started in Research Triangle Park in North Carolina and started as a basic um, hardware technician back when you could make a living doing that. I've worked with, uh, got started with Novell. And then eventually went to uh, Microsoft Windows and T4O and Active Directory, and uh, I've done my work with Unix and Linux as well. Uh, I moved into network engineering and then network architecture. Um, information security has been a huge part of what I've done for the last 10, 15 years. Uh, public key infrastructures, uh, migrations, cloud migrations are, are uh, very, uh, really big part of what I do to, today, um, as well as, you know, upgrading security infrastructure and so on and so forth. Just been doing this for a long time. Um, and as far as instructing, I've been an instructor for about the last 15 years on and off, and I'm very excited that you're going to join me and go through the material for uh, the SISM course. So again, there's my email address if you'd like to contact me offline, Kelly H at Cybertrain.it, and I, and I hope you do. All right, so we're all here to look at the SISM certification. SISM comes to us from ISACA. And we're looking at Certified in Information Security Management. This is much less of a technical certification and much more certification about f uh, figuring out how we as information security professionals can support the business. So throughout this course, uh, what we're going to talk about is, of course, the certification itself. I'll give you a little bit of an overview of what that cert is and who it's for. Um, we'll talk about what a SISM would be expected to do in the workforce. We'll talk about the various domains, the four domains that ISACA has decided are part of the SISM certification. And we'll talk about the business requirements. We'll talk about risk and risk management and structure. Um, we'll look at some information security frameworks and technologies. And all of this is going to come together to help equip us to perform information security management. All right, and our goal, this is definitely an exam preparation course, so we're going to be focused on uh, working towards passing the SISM exam, but of course, even more important than being certified, we want to make sure that we learn and we understand the processes. So like I said, uh, I'm really glad that you're here. I think SISM's a great course. I think it helps us put information security in the proper context. Now, to get your SISM certification, the first thing that you want to do is certainly, um, you know, this course is going to be a big step towards helping you get ready, but you can't pass the test unless you schedule the test. So what I generally tell folks to do is once you've decided, yes, I'm going to take this, I'm going to pursue my certification, at that point in time, go ahead and register for the exam. Pick a date and you will get ready by that date. If you're just waiting till that morning you wake up and think, man, I'd like to go spend $600 on a four-hour exam, that day is probably not going to come for you. But if you decide that this is a certification that will help you in your career, and I think that it will, then put it on the schedule, do the steps you need to do to prepare for it, and then go take and study for the exam. Give yourself that accountability of having a date on the schedule. So go register for the exam. As a matter of fact, I'll hang on a second. You guys go register. All right, maybe not. Okay, step two, prepare for the exam. My goal with this course and with the material I give you is to help you prepare for this exam. Uh, I won't say that this is the only and the exclusive resource to use. I don't think there's any single exclusive resource you sh should use, but I do want this to be the foundation of your study. Okay, I teach this course quite a bit. I've had a lot of students come and go through my doors. Um, I have um, 
use various material, including ISACA's course material, as well as other information that's out in the field to create this course for you. I think it should cover the information to the degree that's necessary for the exam. I would encourage you to supplement this with additional exam prep. As you're aware, Cybrary has, um, through Kaplan, has exam preparation questions that help you evaluate if you're ready. I think they are a tremendous resource. Um, I think that obviously, you know, ISACA puts out a book for CISM. That's certainly something that you'd want to add to your, your reference book collection. There are lots of other tools you can use, but I do feel like this course that we're providing is quite um, substantial and really should be the foundation of your study, okay? Um, so we're going to use this time together to prep for the exam. Take the exam. When you pass the exam, you are not certified. After you pass the exam, you still have to apply for the certification through isaca.org. They'll send you an email and they'll um, ask for your work references and things of that nature, and then you'll become certified. At that point in time, you have to maintain your certification, so you have to get so many continuing education units per year or per three years. Um, that changes from time to time, so I'm not going to quote you what those are currently. What I'll tell you is isaca.org, I-S-A-C-A dot org is the best place to go for those details about testing, about how much it costs, how to schedule, when to schedule, what you have to do to maintain. So I'll leave you to check with isaca.org on that.